Alrighty, so we're grabbing ice right now. It's like 5.45 in the morning. Um, but we're gonna be doing something pretty much really different today. Uh, we're gonna be going out. I got my brother Evan on the uh, camera right now and uh, we're gonna be trying to find mangrove snapper and we're literally gonna put them in the bucket on ice. Then we're gonna pull up to an island, start a campfire and uh, we're gonna try to cook them over, uh, over an actual campfire. So we're gonna go ahead and get on that and we'll, uh, we're gonna be off in a second. We're gonna go grab live shrimp as well. And uh, you already know we got the, uh, the chocolate milk. See that boys? That's the juice, that's what gets you fish and uh, let's get on it. So what happened guys so we're currently on our way to walmart right now because i left like the most important thing that we needed today at home which is a uh a fry pan so uh we're gonna grab that right now stupid <laughs> Check out these shrimp, check them out, check them out. All big like four or five inches. Now I know that's not gonna help us like a massive amount or anything, but good that the bait shop hooked us up. So what we're gonna do is in my last video, we were using uh, just regular DOA jig heads. This uh, video, we're gonna switch up the jig heads a little bit. This is a little bit, uh, ugh, a little bit smaller in profile. It's white this time, so it should get us uh, some more bites with uh, our mangrove snapper. So all we're gonna do is really, I've explained this before, we're, we're just gonna take our shrimp just like that. We're gonna pinch them so his tail sticks up and just hook them right through the tail, just like that. And we're gonna drop them down, straight down under docks, and we're gonna try to find some mangroves today. Evan's got the same setup as well. We've both got 30 pound leader, and uh, we're gonna get some freaking, some monster mangroves, hopefully. Like the current's pumping a little bit through here. Oh my god, my drone just like locked down. You're, you're on? You're on already? Let's go. What is it? Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. Is that a trout? It's a trout? Not bad. First fish of the day is a trout. Don't bring them in the boat, just keep them over. Hang them over, hang them over. So, you, cause you're gonna slip if the slime touches the bottom of the boat. Yeah, those are mangroves under this dock. We found them. We found them. Evan's unhooking the trout. See ya. All right. There we go. Finally stuck one. Yeah, he's not big enough. Look how pink he is. Such a pink one. Super bright colors on that mangrove. He's probably nine inches, but just a little bit too small. Oh boy. Oh, there's a huge sheep's head on that piling. Huge sheep's head, hold up. He'll eat. Hold up. It's the first good sized sheep's head we've seen today. Oh. Oh! Drop it on that piling. That might have been that sheep's head. He was like an 18 incher. down there oh there's like snapper or pinfish I don't think it's the sheep's head that sheep's head oh got him oh dude that's a keeper that's a keeper I think 
Not yeah, he's just got to be 10 inches. He looks yeah. he looks almost 10 inches. Bro, he ate it on the way as I'm pulling it out of the water. Let's measure him real quick. He looks... He is 10. All right, he'll eat. Open up the cooler. Dude, I knew there was a freaking decent one under there. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of shrimp to go. Nice mangrove snapper. All right, pull those waters out of there. Chill, 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 chill. You chill. Are you ready? Go. Put them in. Close that thing. Close that, close that, close that. Alrighty. Let's go. There's definitely way more under there. I was getting hammered. I want that freaking, like, huge sheep's head that was on the piling. Mega oh, there's a big sheep's head, really big sheep's head right here. Oh, he just spook or go towards it. Put it pretty close to him. That's him. That's gotta be the sheep's head. There he is. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was him. I knew that. Get in here, buddy. Is that a keeper? I think so. All right, so there is our first sheep's head of the day right there. He is about 13 inches. I just went ahead and measured him, and he's going to be going into the cooler on ice. So we're going to be cooking up here, cooking him up here in a second. Um, I just dropped that live stream about four or five feet from the uh, piling he was on. I saw him eating some barnacles or eating on whatever they do to the uh, barnacles chew on them or whatever. Um, and he went straight up to that live shrimp and I just felt the line go thump and uh, he's on there. So we're gonna continue to uh, finish out using our live shrimp here. We probably got about 20 left, but uh, let's, uh, let's get him in the cooler, Evan. All right, do we pull up to an island or do we keep fishing? Island? All right, let's go. Good job, shrimp, you survived. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and uh, move over to one of these islands behind me. Maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe that one over there. I don't know. We're gonna decide here in a second, and uh, we're gonna hopefully get our campfire started. Um, that's something I'm, I don't know, I'm like half confident about on uh, how that's actually gonna go, if we're gonna be able to do it, but I trust myself. We should be able to do it, and uh, let's, let's get on with it. All right, so we're pulling up to this island right here. It's pretty small. I don't know if there's a sailboat right there. I think they're just parked. I don't think anyone's on the island. But um, so with these islands, only like you can only have like one person on it at a time or one occupant or whatever. So I'm making the assumption that they're not there because it looks like a damn sailboat. We're gonna pull up right here on the end and uh, or flyer fish there and then get that fire going. All right, we're here. Here. See what's on this island. Woo! All right, so we've got this picnic table. We'll probably fillet the fish right there. Then uh, it looks like there's like a fire ring right here, which we'll probably build the campfire in right there. And then uh, let's see what else. firewood all right so we just pulled up on the uh on the island right now so we got a bunch of our firewood i'm gonna go ahead and get that going then we're gonna fillet the fish and we're gonna throw it on the fire and by that time there should be uh the good amount of coals and uh well i honestly don't know what you call it but i know you cook it on the coals which not on direct fire so we're just gonna get the fire going we got a ton of firewood and uh let's actually see if i can freaking do this all right, so we're getting this fire going here. I'm gonna make like a level area right here. Where God, I can... dude, like bear grills. 
We're gonna get our little pieces right here. Those actually don't. The ASMR. Those don't break. Let's get that. We're start. I'm just gonna make like a TP style. I can't really do it with this wood very well. We're gonna have to use those smaller pieces to get it going. Get these really tiny. All right, we got the Insta Fire right here. I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna make a small pile of it at the bottom of the teepee. Get our lighter. Oh man, I just messed it up. You ready? All right, so the Insta Fire is lit. Now we're just get those tiny pieces and make sure they're over the flame without smothering it. So you're not allowed to like remove like uh, vegetation from the trees here, but I'm assuming you could use like these dead sticks that are just lying around here on the ground. And we're gonna go ahead and just add those in to get this thing going a little bit. Oh shoot, the Insta Fire. <laughs> All right, so we finally got it going. Check it out. Huh? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filleting these fish here in a second, and then we're gonna get to cooking. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fry up our uh, fish on the uh, campfire over there. What I brought is, uh, I brought two eggs. I brought the batter for the, uh, the batter for the fish. So we got two eggs here, where's my fork? I'm sure everyone knows how to do this, but we're just gonna mix up the freaking eggs here. We're gonna mix up the eggs. <laughs> mix up the two eggs. Then the fish is gonna go from the, uh, into the eggs and then into the batter. Then uh, we're gonna put it in a plate and then we're gonna bring it over to the fire and fry that. All right, so we got our sheep's head here and our mangrove snapper right here. Here's our batter. It's breadcrumbs mixed with uh, Old Bay, I think. Secret seasoning. So we're just gonna lay that right there. All right, so we'll do our mangrove first. So that's just gonna go into the eggs just like that, into the batter. Just gonna lay it right there. All right, last but not least, the sheep's head. Nice. And in case we didn't say it earlier, we had a 10 and a half inch uh, mangrove snapper and then a 12 and a half inch uh, sheep's head. So that's what's making up our, uh, our catch and cook. All right, that looks pretty good. Canola oil. We got the canola oil here. We're gonna go ahead and set, get it set up right on the coals of the fire. Get that thing hot and then uh, we're gonna put the fish in. The fire's right over there. All right. So what you gotta say to the fans? <laughs> Maybe only about that much. That's like just a little bit, not too much. All right, that's a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> and men's not hot. All right, so we're going to let that sit there for a second, let it get nice and hot, and then we're going to add our fish. So here we go. We got <laughs> we got Justin, Justin Menendez in short fishing. We got our fillets all nice and coated up, ready to put on there. The skillet's nice and hot, and the oil's heated up, so we're going to put these bad boys on here. All right, so we're going to grab our first fillet here and lay it in. It's bubbling. I think the oil needs to get just a tad bit hotter for it to cook perfectly, but it looks pretty good right now. We're gonna give it a second. All right, so that's starting to sizzle. We're gonna cook both our mangrove snapper pieces first. There we go. That looks sick. So this is literally as fresh as it gets. This fish was uh, swimming about an hour and a half ago, and it's already in breadcrumbs and cooking in the oil, so. This should come out pretty dang good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip them now. If you guys can see that, it's super golden brown on the top right there. That's right where we want it. This one is almost done, actually. This one, we should be about ready to flip. So you want that nice brown color? 
I'm not an expert on this either. I just know you need the brown color and it's brown, so we're flipping them. But this looks super good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let it drip off a little bit because I don't have a paper towel for it to dry off on. I'm just gonna let it drip just like that. Lay it on my little plate here. Next one. Oh no, it broke. That looks super good though, super white inside. All right, look at this sheep's head. Looks fire. All right, I'm gonna lay it on here. Let's go freaking taste it. Alrighty, so we just finished up uh, cooking our fish here. So let's check it out. We got the uh, mangrove snapper in the sheep's head, and this is literally as fresh as it gets from like the uh, the river to uh, I guess our little plate here in about an hour and a half. So let's go ahead and taste test on the uh, what is this mangrove mangrove snapper first. Ooh. Ooh, this boy hot. Fire. Thoughts? This boy hot. Pretty hot. Crunchy, we cooked it long enough. Picked a good seasoning too, so. Pretty good. It's super fire. Yeah, cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the sheep's head, and Ooh. it tastes super good, just like the mangrove. They both taste so good when they're fried. Also, I'm sure you have a drink. Arizona usually goes good with it, so I'm just sipping that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pack up our stuff here. We gotta make sure we bring everything off the island um, and make it look just like it did when we uh, showed up. So if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you guys feel about the uh, whole island camping, island catch and cook, catch and cooks, literally everything we did in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for the next one because I am feeling like an overnighter might be coming soon. Uh, catch and cook style, island style. And uh, big shout out to my brother Evan for coming out here and helping me today. Everyone go follow him on Instagram. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, he makes beats, so uh, go check him out. I sometimes use uh, his beats in my videos, so if you guys ever hear uh, beats in the videos, maybe I'll use one in uh, in this video. So that's gonna be it for today. I will uh, I'll see you guys in that next video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see ya. Hey.